32 ni na wimbo mzuri sing ni na wimbo mzuri tangu kuamini wa mkombozi mfame tangu kuamini Sifu tangu kuamini ni tali sifu dinalake Kristo ani tosha kweli tangu kuamini mape Sifu tangu kuamini ni tali sifu dina lake ni na loshu uda sawa tangu kuamini lina lofu kuza shaka ta na kusoma kutoka kitabu cha Matthew 6 verse 8 inasema pasi msifanane na hao maana papa yenu anawajua mnayohitaji kapra nyinyi amchamuomba acha tuamini na tuombe papa tunakushukuru sana kwa juni ya leo tunakushukuru sana kwa ulinzi umetupa tangu asubuhi hadi hadi saa hii baba ona tunaenda kupata neno lako kwa kupitia mtumishi wako stezi papa naomba msaidie ili atufunze kitu ambacho tunaweza kukufuata kama baba yetu nimeomba haya machache kwa chindezi mbokombozi wetu amen ni nani wanaweza nikaribisha kwa mtumishi Okay God is good and all the time I hope I'm old enough in our in our fikia nyinyi wote So we've had the reading from the book of Matthew from the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 8 mtasoma tu tena and it says Do not be like them. Your father already knows what Sorry, do not be like them. Your father already knows what you need before you ask from him. 
So you find that the word them that is being referred here, according to my Bible, is uh, telling me that it's the pagans. When we read the uh, verse chapter, sorry, verse 7, it says, when you pray, do not choose a lot of meaningless words as the pagans do. So that refers, uh, the them that is in verse 8 refers to us there, the pagans. So we are being told by Christ that uh, the pagans, for he already knows. knows what we want so us doing that prayer is just like emphasizing on what he already knows so I have something here for us if God himself can uh, give life to things that can perish such like flowers so what do we think, so what about us that he made us in his own image? The love that he has for us. Do you think it exists, the, is, it exists the love that he has for the flowers? So just to emphasize on the love that uh, God has for us, that he made us. From chapter, sorry, from chapter 1, verse 27. And it says, So God like his image. Because we have to acknowledge, acknowledge that he's the only one. Are we following Psalms chapter chapter 34 from verse 17? That Psalms 34, 17. Anyone who can read for us? Anyone? Thank you. That is 3417. Okay, I'll also read from my Bible. It says, The righteous call to, to the Lord and he listens. He rescues them from all their troubles. So we see that when we call upon God, for sure he will listen and he will also deliver our cries. So that links us to, to, know, to know that for sure the love that God has for us can never go free. Another thing that I'd like to emphasize on is that we can see that the love that God gives us is being compared with that one of a mother. 
We can get this from the book of uh, Isaiah 49.15. Isaiah 49.15. We see how God's love is being compared to the one of a mother. Yes. Isaiah 49.15. Thank you. So, we get to see that the love of God is being compared with that one of a mother. And uh, there are some versions saying that if at all a mother can, can leave behind his child or her child, then uh, for sure God can never do that to his child. So from... That she bore with her womb. If at all she can leave her child, then God Himself is telling us is, is telling us that He can never leave us. So I'll read for us something here, something short. So it says, God is a friend in perplexity and affliction, a protector in distress, a preserver in the thousand dangers that are unseen to us. God dwells in every abode. He hears every word that is spoken, listens to every prayer that is offered, tests the sorrows and disappointments of every soul, regards the treatment that is given to father, mother, sister, friend, and neighbor. He cares for our necessities and his love and mercy and grace are continually flowing to satisfy our needs. In his care, we may safely rest. God helps the feeble and strengthens those who have no strength. In the fields where the trials and conflicts and poverty are the greatest, God's workmen must have increased protection. To those laboring in the heart of the conflict, God says, the Lord is thy shade upon the right hand. So God is assuring us of his protection that he'll give us if at all we have anything anything bad that is planned against us so we can see this from the book of psalms chapter 121 from verse 5 to 8 we can go there psalms 121 5 to 8 Psalms 121 from verse 5 to 8. Amen. So we see that verse 8 is really emphasizing on it, saying, He will protect you as you come and go, now and forever. So we can now see that God himself is assuring us of his protection. In whatever situations we think that God is not with us, for sure he is assuring us that he will forever be with us. So at that time of distress, whenever we feel that we, we really have a lot of challenges, when, uh, when we started, we read the book of Matthew, chapter 6, from verse 8. And uh, when you go down around uh, verse 9, 10 there, we see that we have the Lord's Prayer, where we are being told that you, that Lord's Prayer, whenever you say it, it's like, it's like a full prayer that you, 
it's everything that you may need is in that prayer. So I really urge us to, to always remember that whenever we, we feel that we are really down, we can, cannot, we can never even utter a prayer. Like we don't know how to pray. I believe that when, when you just say that Lord's prayer and the Lord will listen to you. So I would really like us uh, to remember that. And I'll call upon Elda. Elda to come and pray for us. Elda Onyimbo, kindly come and pray for us as we finish this session. Then when Elda finishes, we'll all join together with the Lord's Prayer. Where is Exumama? Let's pray. Almighty Father, we thank you for the great day that you have given unto us until this evening. Lord, we don't take it for granted, for this is thy grace that has made us be the, to reach this far. Thank you for the message that you have heard. The assurance that, Lord, you are always with us when we go out, when we come in, you are always with us. Many a times, our troubles take us away from thee. But Lord, the assurance you have given us, Lord, that we should pray you or to you all the time because there's no way a, child, a mother can forget her child. And you are much more than a mother in this world. You are much more because thy love to us is so great that the reason why you send your only son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us. This assurance that we have in thee. Lord, we walk in the world that's full of many challenges. But Lord, how we pray, may the Holy Spirit be with us all the time to teach us that, Lord, your love for us is great. And we are looking for a home that is to come. Our focus should focus on the Jerusalem, the new earth that will come, where there's no more troubles, where there's no more worries. Lord, we pray, teach us to pray, and to pray that we trust thee all the time. Be thus now and forevermore for this mama prayer. Trust in and believe in Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that we done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptations, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy the kingdom the power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Be blessed.